I'm addicted to skulk sensors. And I'm going to be honest, it's a bit of a problem. You know, when I'm driving anywhere, I'm thinking about skulk sensors. When I'm having a conversation with someone, sometimes my mind flips over to skulk sensors, which is a little bit rude. Even when I'm eating. You know, I could be eating delicious food, and still, my mind goes to skulk sensors. And it's because they're a really interesting and unique redstone component. For me personally, I think of them as being the hands-free redstone component, because they allow us to interact with redstone contraptions without actually having to interact with redstone contraptions. I mean, that's cool. Now, if you're wondering why that armor stand is bouncing up and down in the water there, it's because in the previous Skulk Sensor related redstone video, I discovered that if you're too far away from an object that makes sound, it actually stops making sound, which means that we can use that in combination with the Skulk Sensor to actually increase the radius of the Skulk Sensor. Now, you can make it massive with things like note blocks. I think it's around about 50 blocks. But with something like an armor stand, it's a lot more localized, and this doesn't involve any redstone. Which means that we can now create smart redstone contraptions that activate only when you walk past them. So that's what we're going to be doing today, creating smart redstone contraptions. So the first build that I want to work on today is inspired by a redstone contraption that Etho has in his Let's Play world. He has this storage system where when you walk into the room, all of the chests are revealed. And I've always thought that was cool. I remember when he built it, I thought it was cool at the time, and I still think it's cool today. And I wonder if we can integrate the skulk sensor into a redstone contraption like that. Now, from a redstone perspective, I'm going to try my best to keep this as simple as possible. So when skulk sensors do actually get introduced and we start getting snapshots, you should actually be able to build this relatively easily yourself. Right, this should be the carcass all done and dusted. So now I'm thinking... That already looks cool. <laughs> I always love, I love storage systems that look like this. But yeah, I'm thinking we put the armor stand bobber somewhere up in the sky, somewhere around about here. Hopefully that has enough range to actually reach this area because obviously we don't want the storage system to close up while we're using the storage system. That would be a bit of a flaw. But given the radius of this thing, it seems as though we're all in the clear. Everything's still being detected despite me being in the corners. And now I've added in a little pulse extender here, which means that between the pulses of the skulk sensor, the redstone continues to be powered so that these pistons aren't just flashing back and forth. This pair of redstone lines connects up all of the pistons, and I've added in a little bit of delay between each one of the segments so that the opening and closing sequences look good. And I genuinely, I think that could be everything. I mean, it literally is a case of just connecting up some redstone lines into an input. So let's see if it's all working. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is like, I would have dreamed of this sort of thing being possible back when I started making Minecraft redstone videos. The fact that I can have a redstone contraption that just detects as I get closer and activates things, and I can get closer generally. Like, I don't have to walk over a specific spot, you know, I don't have to touch a pressure plate, I don't have to trigger a tripwire, no, this all, this all happens just due to my proximity to the redstone contraption. All right, let's make this look a little bit cooler, just so you can get a slightly better impression of what it would actually look like in a proper Minecraft room. And as you can probably tell, I'm in a bit of a quartzy mood at the minute. Now, I have made a slight modification to the redstone in that I've moved the armor stand detector just a tiny bit further back, so that the pistons activate as I gradually cross the threshold of the room, because before it was like right the way back there and you kind of lose the effect, whereas now it's as I enter the room, all of the chests reveal themselves, and I'm happy. This has brought me great levels of internal happiness. The only disappointment is that I can't currently build this on the Hermitcraft server, because if I could, I would. I'd, oh, I've broken everything. Right, moving swiftly on. I've come up with an idea for a sort of redstone security system. So the idea is, is that you have a system that detects if a player has come into your base while you've been away. Now this actually could be quite simple because the nether portal makes noise and on a minecraft server the main way that you get between people's bases is of course through the nether portal so we might we might actually be able to do something here now the only issue that i'm running into is making it toggleable because obviously i don't want to have this thing running all the time because then it's just going to detect me and my own base and that's not particularly helpful i want it to detect other players in my base so i switch it on when i log out of the server and i think Something like this could do the trick. You see, the issue is, is that, of course, the skulk sensor, it actually picks up the sounds of pistons moving, and it's really difficult to use the wool occlusion. Now, is this too far away? No, it doesn't seem to be. So then we can move the wool occlusion, and then this thing can pick up the sound from the nether portal. However, despite this slightly over-engineered solution, unfortunately, I can't always guarantee that the nether portal is going to make a noise when I come back through it, and that means the system wouldn't always fire when there's an intruder, 
And that's a problem. So we're going to go back to the drawing board a little bit and I think I've got a solution. And of course it's solved using these armor stand bobbers. I feel like these are going to be a very common sight on Minecraft servers as of Minecraft 1.17. But I have these things set up 16 blocks away so that when the player is inside the portal, this thing is detecting it and we can use that to trigger a redstone circuit but as soon as the player is out of the portal then it's not going to detect them and one thing that you might notice is I've put the skulk sensor 17 blocks away so that the player in the portal can't actually hear it so they would have no idea that they're being detected right now. That that is some James Bond level stuff. So now I've added in a little toggle which allows us to toggle this system on and off so I'm not detecting myself in my own nether portal. And I've done that using a locking repeater which essentially locks off the redstone output coming from the skulk sensor. So even though we're getting a redstone output right now, it's not making its way into this dropper. And this dropper is essentially saving the number of times the system gets activated. So say for example you activate your system, then you leave the server and then you come back the next morning and there's 30 items in here. That means that people have been going through your base quite a bit. So let's give this a tester. Now obviously you wouldn't have a lever next to your nether portal which deactivates it and you probably wouldn't have a note block which signifies detection but these are just for testing purposes. So if I pop into the nether portal here you can see the note block hasn't gone off which means nothing has been detected. But if I hop out of here and then activate my redstone system we should then see that when I pop in here Yes, I've been detected. And if we take a look inside the hopper, you can see I've got one piece of rotten flesh, which means that the nether portal has been used once. So if you have a neighbor like Green, that is the perfect redstone system for you. Next up, we have a redstone circuit, which I've always, always, always wanted to build, but never really been able to in a way that works well. And that is an Elytra-based piston door. You see, there was just no way to detect a player approaching. I mean, you could use tripwire hooks, but even then it was kind of 50-50 as to whether or not you were going to detect the player and also it meant that you had to have a tunnel leading up to the door to guarantee that they flew through them. I mean it just, it never really worked that well. But now we can actually detect a player approaching. I just love the idea of a door in the side of a mountain that opens as you approach. We had James Bond a little bit earlier on, now it's time for some Star Wars. Now my only slight concern is how fast an Elytra can travel. Now, I want to be able to go full whack through this thing. I want to have fireworks blasting out my backside as I shoot through this piston door. And I don't know if the 16 block sound range is going to be enough. But then I also feel like the note block sound range, which is 50 blocks, kind of takes away the effect a little bit. You know, I don't want it to open miles ahead of me. Well, I guess all I can do is give it a test. I'm just going to fly full speed in creative mode and... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's clearly an issue. So I've swapped our armor stands out for a dropper. I'm now fully equipped. So, I mean, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I wouldn't really want it to be much slower than that, to be honest with you. That is inc <laughs> incredibly satisfying. I mean, how fast can we fly into this thing? This is going to really test my flying skills. In I come. I mean, that is cool, isn't it? <laughs> I've got an Elytra flying door. I've got an Elytra flying door. But all this talk of flying has made me think of a different type of flying. I wonder if we can make a flying machine door. You see, that's another thing that I've kind of always wanted to do. To be able to have a flying machine come out through a piston door, but it was always a tricky thing to do with timings and things. So if I could just detect the sound of a flying machine coming past, then that could really do the trick. Right, here goes. Skulk sensor is in place. That should detect the sound of the flying machine as we approach. <laughs> I haven't done a very good job of staying on top. But regardless, that actually worked. <laughs> so I managed to send a flying machine through a piston door. Skulk sensors. Skulk sensors are the best. I don't know why, but this has just made me think of unmanned delivery drones. Like the idea that you have this little flying machine that's flying along, carrying items, and it's leaving a storage depot of some sorts, taking items to another player on the Minecraft server. I mean, I just... Oh, I'm, I'm having too much fun. Wait, hang on a second. How did I not think of this? This should have been the first thing that I thought of when Skulk sensors were introduced, when they were announced. I'm a little bit embarrassed that I didn't think of this. All I will say is I'm incredibly excited for Halloween next year because it is going to be far, far more entertaining. I'm sure there's a decent number of you who can see where I'm going with this. I'm thinking we have a pair of eyes that follow you around the room. So you can see I've got my skulk sensor set up. So when I walk over to one side, they activate and we get ourselves a little redstone output. And now I'm trying my best to work out 
how on earth the redstone is actually going to function. And I feel like I'm making this a lot harder than it has to be. But also, I've played far too much Minecraft today, so my brain is a little bit frazzled. And that means that I'm completely incapable of coming up with a better solution than this. So when the right hand skulk senses activate, then I need to fire these pistons here and then these pistons here. And that will move the eyes across to the right hand side. And then when they deactivate, I then need to fire those same pistons again, but in the opposite order. And then the left hand ones is the same but for the other sets of pistons. This thing has absolutely no business being as cute as it is. I mean, I totally didn't need to decorate this thing, but suddenly I felt an urge to. Now I'm hoping that all of this redstone should be functional. I actually ended up working out a tiny bit easier than I was expecting. It's literally just depowering pistons at the correct time. But with that being said, haven't actually tested it yet. So if I stand in the middle, this is good. That's kind of the easy bit. Now it's time for the slightly more challenging bit. Here goes, so. I mean, that will never not be entertaining to me. And then if we move back over to the center, how long does it take for the eyes to react? I mean, it's a, it's a tiny bit slow, but it's not too bad. <laughs> so there we go. Let me move back over to the center. If I do, I mean, I'm assuming if I do a move like this. Oh, it actually does work. I mean, it's going to be a tiny bit slow to respond because the time it takes for the sound to move down to the skulk sensors. But still, it does actually... This works a million times better than I was expecting it to. This is this is brilliant. Well, I think it's safe to say that I'm chuffed to bits with all the redstone contraptions that we featured in this video. There has been plenty of smart redstone contraptions and maybe one or two slightly silly ones. I mean, would you, would you class this as a silly... Yes, this is definitely a silly redstone contraption. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Now, I am going to try my best to make the next redstone video not about the skulk sensors. I'm really going to try, but they're incredibly fun. And I just want to say, once again, huge thank you to Opposec for creating the skulk sensor mod. I'll put a link to it down in the description so you can download it for yourselves, have a play around, because it's fantastic. It works so reliably. It's, it's as if they're actually in the game.